try and do this in one take. I don't know if I can, but we're going to see. Okay, so um, quick EDC update. What I carry every day, um, starting from head to toe. We're just going to work our way down and go through it all. So on top of my head, um, what I wear every day, my everyday sunglasses, Oakley black jackets, the black frames, black reading lenses. Uh, I wear them every day. It's one of those things that I don't leave the house with that. On my left wrist is a Casio Protec. It's the PRG 80T. It's got a compass, altimeter, um, barometer, stopwatch, and all the other basic features of the watch. And I just keep a small, uh, about a foot and a half of paracord on my wrist. Uh, nothing big. Um, left front pocket is a Benchmade Mini Barrage Combo Wedge. very bold. Um, can't complain. Not the best phone, not the worst phone. That's it for my left front pocket. Uh, my right front pocket. I'm carrying a Surefire E1B. Uh, that is my tactical light. A Zippo Classic. Stick. House keys and a key uh, Houdini keychain tool from Benchmade uh, for breaking windows and uh, cutting seat belts and that kind of stuff. Uh, I personally always carry a pair of ear protection. That's just me. Uh, something I like to have on me. And my EDC light, which is a 4.7 Sport Mini XML 123. Uh, nice, small, very compact. Uh, if I need a single light source, that's usually what I take with me. So that all fits in my right pocket. I'm just kind of... Kind of all flattens out and fits nicely. Uh, in my left rear pocket, left back pocket, I have my wallet. And inside my wallet, I have a Fisher Space Pen, a writing instrument. Uh, in my rear right pocket, I have my car keys and a couple of those uh, keep up thingies for uh, uh, GNC and Petco and that kind of stuff. And I also carry a full size stainless steel carabiner, well, not stainless steel, but steel carabiner. This one happens to be painted black and it's a locker. Um, more about this in a little bit. And the creme de la creme that is always hidden, uh, my KBAR TDI, uh, which is either in the waistband or on an ankle. Um, and that is my tactical defense knife. So, just a quick EDC update. I'm going to go lay everything out on the table, go over it, what I use it for, and how I use it. And we'll be back in a little bit. See you soon. All right, so we're back. Um, so back to the EDC update. So I've laid everything out that I showed you in my pockets, and we're just gonna go over each thing accordingly. Um, starting with, um, we'll just start in the top. Um, it's a Casio Protec, it's a PRG-80T. Um, it's a full metal band. Um, with barometer, compass, altimeter, stopwatch, uh, countdown timer, alarms, and the whole deal. Uh, I've had it for a couple years, wear it every day. Um, it is solar, so it doesn't need batteries, and great outdoor watch. If you're looking for something for the outdoors and you spend a lot of time outdoors, definitely recommend the Protec from Casio. Um, next to that is the Blackberry Bold. Um, not too impressed with the phone. I do like Blackberries. I definitely have a preference towards them, but not my favorite Blackberry that I've ever had. Um, above that is a pair of Oakley flak jackets in black iridium lenses and black frames. Um, my daily wear sunglasses. They're the darkest that I can find. Um, I'm 
pretty sensitive to light and I find that they uh, cut out the most that I can find at least on the market. Um, below that is the Kipling wallet uh, with credit cards, license, the basics, a little bit of cash. Um, and on top of that I pulled out my Fisher Space Pen which actually fits inside my wallet. I stick it in the fold um, using the pocket clip. Um, so that comes in handy. It's nice and small. It's black ink. It's uh, just one of those easy little things that fits. Uh, definitely recommend it. They're fairly reasonable. I think you can pick them up for like $10, $15. And um, refills are like $3. So uh, they're a nice pen, but they're still a reasonable pen. Um, and next to that is just a plain chapstick. And the yellow thing with the keys attached to it is a Benchmade Houdini keychain tool. Um, it's a glass breaker, seatbelt cutter, whistle, and flashlight for uh, basically getting yourself out of a car that's been in an accident or getting someone else out of a car that's been in an accident, if the car's on fire, or um, it's underwater. Um, there's a center punch, I guess you could call it, that'll break um, laminated windows. And uh, I have a review on that. You can check that out on my channel. It's a great tool. Uh, you can get them for anywhere from, I think, about $15 up to about uh, $20. Definitely recommend that everyone has a device like that on their keychain. It can save your life. Uh, and it will save your life if you're ever in a scenario like that. And next to that is just a cheapo pair of um, ear protection. Because uh, I work in the tree business and I just have a habit of always carrying them um, even when I'm off work. Uh, loud noises tend to bother me. Not a lot, but enough to the point where I like having a pair on me and you know if you're near a noisy environment at least you have them and it's not a uh, heavy or um, something that takes up a lot of space so I tend to always have a pair on me or at least in the car with me. Um, right below that is just my car keys and a Omega Pacific uh, D carabiner. Uh, this one happens to be a locker. Um, I don't always carry a locker. Uh, that has multiple uses. Um, it can be used to hook my bag to something. Um, I carry toe straps in my car so it could also be used to pull a car. <laughs> um, it is actually strong enough to do so. I think that one's rated at about 6,000 pounds. So it's not something you'd want to do on a regular basis, but in the God forbidden sense that someone was really stuck or you really had to get something out of the way, you could use it for that. Um, but the main reason I carry it is more of a uh, tactical, tactical defense tool. It's a non-lethal weapon. Um, it can be used like brass knuckles, um, but the key is that it's perfectly legal to carry in all 50 states um, because it's a tool and not a weapon. And it's inconspicuous. So even if someone does see that, they don't think of that as a weapon and they don't really bother you about it. It's not something that a, a police officer or security guard, um, if you go through a security checkpoint, they're not going to ask you questions about it. It's just a carabiner so it's not a big deal and it's a good uh, I wouldn't say loophole but it's a, a good device that you can carry legally um, that could save your butt in a scuffle or, or in a confrontation if, if need be um, next to that is my surefire E1B that's the backup um, it's quite bright uh, it's got two modes on it um, that is more of a tactical light that I carry. It's my high-powered light. My EDC light, which is next to that, is the 4.7's Quark Mini XML123 edition. Um, that's more of just my standard use uh, if I'm walking around and I need a little bit of a light source. I use the Quark Mini. Um, the backup is more if I am walking around a dark area or I am in the city or something like that where I need a little bit of extra light and or as a tactical tool to scare the crap out of someone. You know, if, if someone is 
harassing you or following you, usually if you turn around and flash a light like that at them, they usually back off, they usually get the hint, and they usually stay away. Um, usually if you flash a flashlight like that at somebody, they get the hint that you're more well prepared than they are and that you're not someone that they want to um, get involved with, whether it be a confrontation, a fight, uh, a mugging, or anything like that. Um, next to the flashlights, uh, my tactical blade is my K-Bar TDI, um, which I don't use that often. Um, that really is, except for you know practicing with it every once in a while, that is strictly my tactical defense blade um, that stays either in the waistband, uh, in a jacket pocket, or on my ankle, basically at all times. One of one of those three options, and then my basic EDC knife is my Benchmade 585S which is the barrage um, and that is my everyday EDC knife that goes to work with me, that goes with me on errands. I basically don't leave the house without it. And I don't leave the house without anything on this uh, little table we have set up here. So this is a quick EDC update. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for some more videos. Um, I think I posted this on the YouTube account. I have a new Blogspot account up. It's alonfn2 at blogspot.com. And you can check out um, some written reviews. Um, we're going to put up some commentary. Might even post some of the videos from YouTube up there. And uh, if you like, please check that out. Follow us, subscribe, comment, and uh, do all the stuff that you do on YouTube for us. Um, we're gonna head out. I've got some stuff I gotta do. But more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, get out and uh, enjoy the nice weather we've been having after Irene. <laughs> so, uh, talk to you soon. Bye.